Being homeless and trying to keep healthy is... they don't go together. I've always wanted to be healthy, you know, because I've grown up seeing people abuse their bodies, seeing people drink themselves to death. I was born in 1987. Growing up, I was in and out of foster care all the time. One house, another house, a different house. In year seven, that's when things really started to go wrong. I was out thieving every day. By age 15, I had 30 appearances in magistrate's court. Finally, the judge says to me, I'm not sending you back to the care of your mum because we know your mum's on crack and we know the crackheads are sending you out there to get money. So I got sent to a Bernardo's children's home in Croydon. When I got to the children's home, I met my best friend, Reefa. He'd had a troubled background like me, you know, and he'd been in the care system majority of his life like me. So we clicked straight away like brothers. I'm at a party one night. I invited Reef along. Some older boys come running at the back of the party. They got some car keys in their hand. I thought I could impress the girls and impress the boys, and I took the car keys. And to be honest, I don't even remember getting in the car. But I remember waking up in hospital and uh, and I could see my sister at the end of the bed and I could see the tears streaming down her face and uh, she come over and held my hand and she said to me that, she said, Jason, you, you've been in a car crash and Reefa's died. And I didn't believe her at first. Um, she said it again. Um, Reef has died, and uh, I was sick. I was sick everywhere. I got out of prison in uh, 2011, but I didn't really have nowhere to go. So uh, that's how I started sleeping rough. When Sam first asked me to come down to the club, he explained that he ran a, a boxing club for homeless people. When I come down here, and, and seeing what Sam was doing for them was amazing, and I wanted to be a part of that straight away, and I wanted to help some of the guys down here. Now, they're coming here every single week. They've got the motivation to keep coming back. They've gone out, they've got jobs. They've gone and rented themselves a flat, and I've seen it change them so much. It's heartwarming. Most boxing clubs in London, they want to charge you money to come in there now. This is a boxing club that is about the people. It's about helping people. It's about hearts and minds. It's more like a family, like community proper and amazingly proud to be a part of it. I'd wish I'd fallen into boxing a lot earlier because it may have saved me from getting into as much trouble as I did as a kid. I feel it gives me like drive and motivation and, and dedication to carry on. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I'm trying to rectify that by helping others. I go into the schools and I tell my story to all the kids and I've been to like 28 boroughs out of the 32 and I spoke to well over 25,000 kids. If me standing up and telling this story can help just one of those kids, just one, then me standing up there would have been worth it. All that bad stuff that's happened to me and all the grief and, and the loss and the guilt and the pain, all of that is burning away. I'm going to continue to use that to turn all that negative into a positive. And maybe when I'm old and grey, I'll be able to say that this is how it was, this is how I turned it around, and this is what it is now. <laughs>